My name is Andrew Bauer from the Natural Resource Governance Institute. I'm joined by Mark Ajamang, the Technical Manager for the Public Interest and Accountability Committee uh, in Ghana. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, so Ghana has undergone a lot of uh, uh, different, different events, let's say, in, uh, yes. in the last few years. Yes. Uh, uh, oil was discovered, but oil money started to be spent even before yes. the, the oil started flowing. Yes. Uh, and now uh, there's a, let's say, a, f a fiscal crisis yeah. going on in Ghana. I was wondering if you could just share with us a little bit uh, of your experiences and, and w what are the big challenges that Ghana is facing in managing its oil, gas, and, and mining revenues? Thank you very much for having me, Andrew. Uh, actually, as you know, uh, during uh, the production phase, uh, when the production began in 2011, there was this public agitation uh, for an additional oversight uh, to help Parliament uh, have an oversight in, as to how the revenue will be managed. So PIAC, as a public interest and accountability committee made up of uh, just ordinary Ghanaians drawn from various uh, organizations, made up a 13 member committee. And now we used not to have a fully functioning secretariat, but right now we have a functioning secretariat with the coordinator at the Health of Affairs. Uh, revenue management in Ghana, I was in petroleum revenue management in Ghana has faced a lot of challenges, as you rightly said. Many were spent before even uh, production began. Uh, when for CDB loan, uh, part of oil produce uh, were mortgaged, about a 20 year plan. Yeah, um, we've had in the PRM, which is the Petroleum Revenue Management Act, 815-2011, and as amended, 893. Uh, in 2015, uh, the withdrawals from the Stabilization Fund and the Heritage Fund has come under serious scrutiny because, as you observe, in 2015, the uh, Finance Minister capped the, the Stabilization Fund where, because of the volatility in oil prices, he went in to withdraw additional money to come and fund uh, the ABF, which is the Annual Budget Funding Amount, and the amendment to the PRMA in 2015, March, uh, actually gave allocation, priority allocation to the GMPs, which is the National Oil Company. And then um, uh, there is uh, a contingency fund that the finance minister can rely on. Instead of just going to the stabilization fund to do withdrawals, there is a contingency fund that he can rely on uh, for contingency purposes. And there is a, a sinking fund for debt uh, repayment, um, uh, maturing debt repayment. So basically this is um, how resource governance uh, regarding to petroleum revenues uh, has come to now. Right. And, and there's been, an, I understand, a lot of controversy about around that, right? The, yeah. the uh, well for one, I mean the GNPC, yes. the Ghana National Petroleum Company, Company, has received very large allocations of oil revenue. Yes. Uh, and, uh, uh, and now with, I, I guess a lot of this is a response also to uh, the debt crisis that, yes. that the government's uh, facing so, so I guess the question is, uh, what can be done about it? Number one, what can the uh, PIAC do, yes. the, your organization, and what needs to be done more generally to address this really big crisis? Okay, thank you. Uh, currently, GMPC, as I said, per the amended Act 893, has been given a priority allocation. They have to be al given allocation before even it goes into the petroleum holding funds for distribution to the other areas. Uh, on the 28th of this month, we are having a consultative meeting with GMPC to address this, some of these concerns. The options we are looking at it, would GMP be better off if we give them a one-off money to get fend for themselves, or they should be kept on the national uh, purse as every year we keep giving them money. Uh, in our 2015 semi-annual report, it has been revealed that GMPC has an unspent cash of about $150 million that they don't, I don't know, they don't know what to use the money for. Um, and GMPC, in the same reports, has been revealed that the Minister of Finance has gone to borrow $15 million. And the money, as of now, cannot be traced because per the Minister of Finance, they were saying that they are going to use to capitalize uh, GNGC, which has now become a subsidiary even of GMPC. Yes, so GMPC has uh, huge money they are sitting on. They are not spending the money as it's supposed to be spent. And it raises, it raises a lot of concern. Uh, the works of GMPC as an NOC, public, a lot of public has raised concern as to even if they are open for value for money audit of their projects. Uh, some of these concerns are going to be raised on 28th of April when we meet them for this consultative meeting. Great. Uh, I mean, 
going forward? There's, a, there's an election coming up in Ghana? Yeah, right? 7th November. Um, how can, is oil going to be an issue? Or, and is managing of oil revenue going to be an issue? And, and, uh, and what can be done to sort of raise the profile of these really important issues? Oil is definitely going to be an issue because even um, the PRMA, some political parties have uh, reservations about the PRMA, so it's going to be a keen issue. So what PIAC, is, what PIAC intends to do is there's going to be a presidential debate that will be organized by the IEA, Institute of Economic Affairs. We are going to work hand in hand with them to frame the questions in such a way that it will be a broad-based question where our interest as a public accountability institution will be captured in some of these questions where the, both all the parties, about seven political parties, all of them will have a contribution in the way forward. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank really you very much, it. Andrew. And, uh, and hope that everything's going, going to go well in Ghana. Yeah, thank you very much and for the support of NRGI. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.